Hey everybody, it's Brad. And I'm Krista. With the Big Family Home Set, and today we are building something that she concocted up, and that is... A hanging chicken feeder. We have 24 chickens, and those chickens make a humongous mess in the chicken coop. And they so, waste the feed. And they're wasting the food. So we decided, I decided, I got a wild burr again, um, to <coughs> save our family some money. So I scoured the internet and looked for the best option for our chickens for a hanging, for a chicken feeder. Um, and I think I found it. Yeah. Well, so we're gonna build it. Yeah. So here are the ingredients. Okay, for this build, we've got a three inch piece of PVC pipe you can make this as long as you need for your chickens, um, but they're gonna feed from both sides. And so for us, we just went with a six foot length, which should be more than adequate. You're gonna need a couple eye hooks. We found some of these that we didn't have to buy. Um, and a couple eye, eye bolts there. You'll see what we're gonna do with those. And the caps for the ends on the PVC. And obviously the glue to glue them together. All right, first things first, we're gonna go ahead and snap a chalk line on here to mark out how we're gonna cut this PVC. Next, we're gonna go ahead and cut that first line to open up this pipe. Okay, now that we've got that channel cut, we're gonna go ahead and get some sandpaper and uh, knock these edges out so they don't hurt the little chickens. We don't wanna hurt the chickens. I found some steel wool. Steel wool? Yeah. Uh, eh. Um, yeah, I think it's gonna work sand, just fine. Sandpaper. We, I can't find sand. the sound. I can't find the sandpaper. See what I have to work with, guys. I'm gonna use steel wool. Here we go. Okay, okay, okay. It works. Now, once the edges are knocked off of this PVC pipe, we're gonna clean it out real good because we don't want our chickens ingesting poly-coated whatever it is, PVC, yeah. Next, we're gonna take this glue and this cap and we're gonna cap the sides because that's gonna actually hold food in. That's good. Can, can I use the glue? I, you are not qualified to use the glue. Sorry. It's OSHA requirements. It's a union thing. Uh, the print is really small. I can't see it. Can see. you? Where are you trying to read? Precautions, uh, fire, no, not spills. Spa not Spanish. No, no, this isn't Spanish. No, not Greek. No, it's it's English. It's, no, down there. What it's do you want to know? It's just below <laughs> Israeli. <laughs> what do you, What do you want to know? How long? How long does it take to to dry? How many licks does it take to get to the bottom of a tootsie roll pop? Okay, you I want to drill? drill. You can drill. I'll hold. That's no, 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 give, no. I wanna do it. She's like, touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it. Move your feet. Hold What? Whoa. Oh. All right, so now we're gonna take these eye bolts with a nut, and we're gonna go to the uh, holes that were just drilled, and we're gonna put one side in, and then a, a locking nut on the other side. Just like that. All right, Claire, you're up. I can't fit my big old chubby fingers in there. Can you do it? Okay. She's been looking for ratchets this whole time. Here, I found it. Should I throw it at you? I gotta go. You know what's crazy? I know when she's doing it. I can feel it. I get little prickly pricklies, like the chicken skin. I can feel it. I know when she's messing with me. All right, you got it on there? No. You ready? No, don't care, man. You got your pocket knife? That is an atrocious noise. All right, you got that wrench? I Thank do. You. I can barely read. Oh! <gasps> the hole's too big. 
See? I told her to get a different drill bit. No, you didn't. I told you to get no, a different drill bit. Oh, I said it's too big. It's too big. He did not. Too big. He did not. See, we found this, squishy egg. This one didn't cook long enough. Those girls are not putting mm -hmm. out. Nope. They need to be taught a very strict lesson in egg making, <laughs> and I'm the man to do it. Thank you. All right, so now all we have to do is hang this thing and feed them funky chickens. This knife is not sharp. This is dangerous. What in the world? But I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> now, one of the things that's important about this style of feeder is how high it is up off the ground. Now you want it to swing, you want it on the rope because the chickens don't like swinging. They, if they're gonna roost on something, they want it to be stationary. Right. But um, it's also important that it be that it uh, be a height off the ground that's just about level to their back of the median size bird. Uh, and the reason for that is you want them to kind of poke over to get their food, but not so much where they can just sit there and fling in the feed around and, mm -hmm. and the stuff and the things and the yada yadas and yippy skippies because we don't like wasting food. Just like chicken that. height. Okay. Now, pull it tight. There you go. Nice and tight. Okay, so this is what it looks like completed before we give the feeding. So let's get some uh, awesome chicken feed in here and see how they do, Caleb. Take it to them. There you go. That is awesome. High fives, mama. Shpow. Claire, way to go on what you do. Caleb, bucket master. Boom. I don't think we have to move the water. I think. This is awesome, because they're not slinging the food around. They're, they're just getting, they're not scratching. They're happy, happy, happy. And you guys will save us money and feed. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So there you have it, easy as you please, and um, all in all, I would say we have, what, 25 bucks in it? Yes. Now, I know you can buy feeders, but for the amount of chickens that we have, this was the best option. Yep, and uh, I think it's going to last a long time. Yep. And uh, there you have it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Mm -hmm. I'm Brad. I'm Krista. You guys have an amazing day.